Hey, thanks for checking in. Blitz here with the Survival Outpost, and today we're talking bug out bag upgrades in three, two, one. So for the moment, let's pretend this is a brand new bag, fresh out of the packaging. I'm ready to fill it with gear and head out. But before I can do that, there's a few upgrades and tweaks and modifications I have to make. So let's go ahead and check those out. So I have the new bag here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is give it a proper soaking in this bottle of permethrin. This is a repellent and will take care of any sort of ticks, insects, mosquitoes, carriers of like the West Nile virus and other nasty things from crawling all over your pack and potentially getting inside your pack and maybe even getting in your clothes. And that's not cool, right? So a bottle of this, there's enough here to treat four garments and there's more than enough here to treat an entire backpack more than a few times over. So that's the first thing I do right out of the gate. The next thing I want to do is have a look at the zipper pulls. And in this case, the zipper pulls are the same color as the backpack itself. And even beyond that, they're rather short. And if I had to take a guess, probably not even made out of real paracord, at least that's been my experience. So the first thing I want to want to do here is I'm going to want to replace these zipper pulls with real paracord, give them a little more length and also a contrasting collar, which is going to make them easy to identify, locate and pull. For every pack that I own, I have a last ditch survival kit stored in some secure location. And this is gonna have some fire steel, it's gonna have some sort of water container, it's gonna have a little bit of tinder and just some options to take care of my basic survival. If I run out of everything else, I still have this in the bottom of my pack. And in this case, I just secured it in this zipper compartment back here, set it and forget it, and hopefully I never have to use it. Now, if you've ever been in the military and been in a uniform inspection, and more particularly the Marine Corps, you're going to know what an Irish pennant is. And that is basically a bit of loose thread or just a bit of loose fabric that's hanging on your uniform that you're going to want to get rid of, right? So my OCD overcomes me when I see like all these little loose threads, right? And you know, aside from just tightening up the backpack and making the appearance better, Cleaning up these loose threads is also going to ensure they don't come actually loose. And imagine you have a piece of gear here in this molly webbing. So one of those threads comes loose over a period of time and you lose that bit of gear. That would not be cool. So I like to take my Bic lighter and I clean up all those little loose ends and it looks better. And yeah, I know it's not gonna become unraveled. All right, and then finally, the most important step here, arguably, is selecting the morale patch to fit your current mood to go with your bag. And me, I don't know, I'm just kind of obsessed with skulls and death and all that kind of good stuff. So it'll probably be for me some sort of variation of a skull patch. And as you can see by my wall, I have a few to choose from. And then of course, guys, there's other modifications to make here. For example, if I wanted to adapt this solid black shape to the forest environment, give it a little bit of camouflage, break up this mass, I could grab some Rust-Oleum camo spray paint, hit it up with a few splotches here and there and be good to go. But the main point to remember here is you can take a quality, solid, well-built backpack like the 3B Gear Paratus, make a few modifications and just really make it into a perfect bug out bag. And since we're talking bug out bags, you absolutely have got to go download the free bug out bag guide. It's in the pin post. This is a comprehensive document that we have created for anybody at any skill level to use and build their own perfect 72 hour kit. We're talking 40 plus pages full of video reviews, commentaries, tips, a checklist, you name it. There's everything that you need in this document to build out your 72 hour kit. So I'm super excited to provide this to you guys. It's down there in the pin post. Please get that download. And also you're gonna wanna check out these videos that are popping up right now, all on the topics of bug out bags and survival kits. Thanks a lot for the support guys. Hit that subscribe and like button and I'll see you next time. Peace.